right, uh, good afternoon, everyone. September 26th, and let's see what's going on in the world today as we're looking at uh, end time Bible prophecy. Let me see if I can pull my uh, uh, camera back up here. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on. It's September 26th. Uh, we brought in Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, but there, there's so much going on in the world stage. Let's take a look at uh, the world of politics and news. What's Vladimir Putin up to now? No place to hide. Russia sends troops to Georgian border to set up a checkpoint. My goodness, you know, all the people are massing to get out because he's uh, initiated the draft, um, which will go uh, in effect, I believe, in five days. So he's got now checkpoints to stop them from leaving uh, no place to hide. Russia sends troops to Georgian border to set up a checkpoint. As Kremlin denies, they're denying that they impose martial law, which they did impose martial law. And stopping people from leaving after 260,000 fled the draft, which takes effect in five days. And uh, let me know in the, in the comment section what uh, what is your thoughts on what's going on and... Uh, the threat of nuclear weapons that would be escalate us into World War Three. Um, here's something from my hometown: suspect in killing of Michigan news anchor is charged with murder. Man, fifty-five, waited for victim. This world, I'm telling you, to return from night shift, then stabbed him to death after beating his son with a hammer and tying him up in a closet. This happened in, I'm from the state of Michigan, and this happened in Michigan. This just shows what the, the world that we're living in, and uh, um, my goodness, <laughs> you know, come, please, Lord Jesus, get us out of here. Let's see what else is going on. I don't even know about Alec Baldwin. He, he, when is he going to face charges for the shooting, the murder? On the set of the movie Rust, Alec Baldwin faces charges for Rust shooting. Santa Fe prosecutor says she's ready to file against four people and that actor is a possible defendant. And I'm telling you, there's just so much going on. So much going on in the world today. And uh, King Charles is in charge now. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wanted to live in a suite of apartments at Windsor Castle, but the Queen gave them Frogmore Cottage instead. Bombshell book claims, and uh, I, don't know, I don't want to get too much into the uh, royal family. There's a lot of talk um, about vampirism, and uh, a lot of talk about uh, reptilian and um, pedophilia, and a multi-million dollar gamble or fail-proof space experts deliver their verdict on NASA's DART mission tonight to knock an asteroid off course. And what failure could mean for mankind? Well, my, what, what, what? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring this up. This will be our headline news today. A multi-million dollar gamble. Or fail-proof. Space experts, you can get this from the DailyMail.com and the Space.com. Uh, space experts deliver their verdict on NASA's DART mission to knock an asteroid off course and what failure could mean for mankind. Tonight, <laughs> maybe that's the, all of the uh, talk, the whispers, rumors. I sound like Biden about something to happen on the 24th. It's the 26th. Tonight, NASA may just pull off one of its most ambitious feats in its 64-year history. A NASA spacecraft called uh, DART is due to crash into an asteroid that's about 6.8 million miles away from Earth. DART was launched from California last November and finally completes its 10-month journey in the early hours of Tuesday. Oh, let me see if I can pull this a little more up. All these little pop-ups. Dart's target is the small asteroid Dimorphos, which orbits a larger asteroid called Didymos, around 6.8 million miles away from our planet. That's a good thing. 
Dart will hit the space rock at 15,000 miles per hour and be destroyed upon impact. While Dimorphos, Dimorphos, D-I-M-O-R-P-H-O-S, will merely receive a small nudge to alter its trajectory by a fraction. If this sounds like the plot from a sci-fi disaster movie, rest assured, neither Dimorphos or Didymus pose any danger to Earth. The 30, $325 million dollar Mission is merely a rehearsal of what may be required if a space rock does come close and threaten our planet. And there you have some news for this afternoon on a rainy in Michigan. Fall of the year with a second day of fall. And it's uh, pray that our fight doesn't take place in winter. It's going to be a bad winter. I'm ready. Are you? Do you know Jesus today as your Lord and Savior? Call upon him today. Invite him into your heart. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon.